hey how are you all and welcome back to yet in the amazing video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your radeon graphics card for marvel rivals season 3 in this video i'm going to be covering all of the best amd software settings as well as the best windows settings and the game settings to optimize your performance improve fps and fix input latency make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, step number one is heading over to the AMD drivers and support page and download the Windows drivers. This will update all of your AMD chipset drivers as well as the graphic drivers. And once that is done, it will automatically install AMD Adrenaline software. Simply press your Windows key and then search for AMD and open up the AMD software Adrenaline Edition. Press enter. Before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you guys to GVG Mall, which is actually a one shop stop solution for all of your in-game currencies, in-game items, game cards, and Steam, Origin, and other game CD keys. I personally like Windows keys over here because I do not like an activate Windows watermark on my Windows screen. And for that, you guys can buy a Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro CD key over here. These are genuine Windows CD keys which are available at a discounted rate. You guys can simply click on the buy now button and during this back to school super sale, use code FOX25 and then click on the apply button. And you can get a Windows 10 Pro CD key for $16 only with a free Windows 11 upgrade or a Windows 11 Pro CD key which is originally $32 apply my coupon code and you can get it for $24.17 USD GVG Mall has a 4 star rating over 500 reviews and a 24 hour customer service I have left a link to GVG Mall right in the description below go check out for all of your games and gaming needs and with all that said, let's move to the video. Once it opens up, what you guys are looking for over here is drivers and software and make sure that the status is up to date. If it is not, I would recommend you guys to update it to the latest version. Once that is done, head over to the gaming tab and then you want to have to look for Marvel Rivals in this list. If you guys have run this game in the past, it will show up right within here. Simply click to open this game up and then you want to have to change your gaming experience. I would recommend you guys to use custom presets over here and to do that what you can do is simply disable AMD Radeon Super Resolution and AMD Fluid Motion Frames. These are upscaling methods and frame generation methods which will induce input latency. I would not recommend you guys to use it but if you guys are preferring higher frames over input latency you guys are free to do that. The only thing I would recommend you guys to do over here is a Radeon anti-lag. You wanna have to turn this thing on and this will help you to get rid of input latency. And then you wanna have to scroll down and then click on the advanced tab. Right over here, anti-aliasing should be set to use application settings and anti-aliasing method should be set to multi-sampling. Disable morphological anti-aliasing and enable anisotropic filtering. Set the filtering level to 16x over here because it is dirt cheap in this game and you guys can set it to the highest level to ensure that you get good quality. However, if you guys are facing any performance issues, I would recommend you guys to set it to 2x or 4x. For texture filtering quality, ensure that this is set to performance and surface format optimization should be turned off. I have a better alternative in this scenario. Then you wanna have to come down to tessellation mode and select AMD optimized and open GL triple buffering should be turned off. After that, on the right hand side of your screen, you have to scroll a bit down and then custom color should be turned on. You'll find saturation over here, set this thing to a bit higher. I would recommend you guys to go for saturation 120 as this will give you more vibrant colors and better visibility. For the AMD FreeSync, make sure that this is set to off. Once all of that is done, you now have to head over to the record and stream tab and over here go over to settings. I would recommend you guys to disable all three of these options to save your GPU power. Scroll a bit down and then over here you'll find instant replay, instant GIF and in-game replay. I would recommend you guys to disable these three of them over here as well. Once that is done, head over to the performance tab and then click on tuning. Over here you'll find AMD Smart Access Memory. I would recommend you guys to set this thing to enabled. Once that is done, click on the settings gear and then you wanna have to head over to display. Over here you'll find color depth. Go with the highest color depth available for your monitor. 
This will ensure that you get better spectrum of colors and better visibility in the game. And for the pixel format, go with RGB and ensure that this is set to full RGB. Then on the right hand side, you'll find custom colors. Simply turn this thing on and set your saturation to 120 and this will help you to increase the saturation display wide. After that, click on overrides over here and disable HDCP support. This in many cases induce a little bit of input latency and disabling that will help you to fix that. Simply close this software. Then the next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and press enter. Select your local disk C and then click on the create button and name it MR for Marvel Rivals. I would recommend you guys not to skip this step because any hardcore settings can interrupt the performance of your PC and it is always good to have a restore point to go back to. Simply click on the close button and then close system property. The next step is Marvel Rivals Season 3 AMD Optimization Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In here, you'll find in five folders which are really essential to boost your performance. The first one is Marvel Rivals Priority, which is right off the Marvel Rivals FPS pack dropped recently. Over here, I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. And to apply one for your PC, you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which one you need to choose over here. The second one is CMD latency tweaks, which help you to get rid of unwanted input delay. What you guys can do is right click and run both of these files as administrator and this will help you to disable memory compression to free up your CPU resources and help you to disable BCD edits and you guys can check these files in notepad to see which commands that are going to be performed on your PC. All of these things will help you to get rid of unwanted input latency. The third folder over here is dedicated to your AMD graphics card to optimize its performance. All three of these registry files are really important. Simply double click to apply every single one of them and this will help you to prioritize your AMD GPU over your CPU based graphics and disable power throttling and energy driver to put your graphic card onto the performance mode. The fourth folder is Windows Optimization Tweaks in which I have left these three registry files. These will help you to increase your power efficiency and disable DVR 1 and 2 to ensure that your games perform better without overlay services. Simply double click to apply every single one of them. And fifth folder over here is the programs folder in which I have left MSI mode utility 3.0. This software helps you to change the interrupt priority on your graphic card to optimize its performance. Simply right click on it as administrator. And once it opens up, you're looking for your graphic card in this list, select the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high. This will ensure that your graphic card is given higher interrupt priority while it's processing the tasks, allowing you to perform better in the games. Once that is done, simply close it, close the FES pack. Next step is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and then head over to the gaming tab. Over here, click on game bar and disable it since it is an overlay service. Game bar will consume a lot of CPU and RAM resources in the background, which might impact your performance in the games. What you guys can do is click on the graphics button underneath that and open it up. Over here, enable optimizations for windowed games and then click on advanced graphic settings and then select your default high performance GPU to your native graphic card. If you're on a laptop, you guys will see your CPU based graphics as well as your dedicated graphics and you need to select your dedicated graphics over here and then scroll down to find Marvel's rivals in this list. If you guys cannot find it, go to the download location by clicking on the add desktop app button and add the Win64 shipping file right from the directory. To do that, simply click on add desktop app and then go to the location where you have downloaded your game. For me, that would be under Steam apps, common and then press M on your keyboard to find Marvel Rivals. Once you are in the folder, what you guys can do is head over to Marvel Game, Marvel, Binaries, Win64 and then select the Marvel Win64 Shipping.exe. Click on the add button and then scroll down. Click on the GPU preference and then select high performance over here and simply click on close. The next step is dropping into the game for the best in game settings. Once you're on Steam, click on the play button and then the Marvel Rivals launcher will appear right in front of you. What you guys can do over here is click on this settings gear and then enable switch shader compilation mode. Click on the confirm button. Then you wanna have to click on this broom over here and then select clear local configuration file and then clear local redundant files. Once that is done, click on the launch button and then head over to the game. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to the settings gear and then click on settings. Over here, come down to the display settings first. And then for the display mode, select 
borderless windowed or full screen both of them works absolutely fine then for the entry lacing and super resolution type make sure to select amd fsr 3 or amd fsr 2 if that is available for your graphic card then for the super resolution mode select balance or performance both of them works absolutely fine for low-end pcs but if your graphic card can handle head over to quality for the super resolution sharpening, I would recommend you guys to go with 80. FSR 3 frame generation should be turned off. AMD anti lag 2 should be turned on. Limit FPS off. Show FPS and network stats on. VSync should be turned off. And right over here under the graphic settings, select the graphics quality to low and only set your texture detail quality to medium. Once that is done, click on enter to apply these settings and then click on confirm. Once that is done, you guys can now drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So that is it for this video guys, I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I really trust you all in helping us reach our goal. And with all that said, we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.